Okay, if your eye condition isn't likely to improve beyond the conditions listed above, you can get a statement certified by your eye doctor uh, to this effect instead. Uh, so you must keep the statement for your records. In other words, do I have to give that statement to the IRS? No, you're gonna check it off typically. And then if you get audited, the IRS questions it, then you're gonna have to produce that uh, documentation, information, evidence to the auditor. So it's kind of like, again, the audit in this case, similar to like driving on the road in that you, if you speed, you're, you might not get caught, but if the, if you do get caught, then, then, you know, you're gonna have to produce the evidence at that point in time or get hit with a penalty severe enough is the idea that it will deter people from uh, dis making deceptive or, or lying statements on the tax return in the future. So if you receive a notice or letter, but you would prefer to have it in braille or large print, you can use form 9000 alternative media preference to request notices in an alternative format, including braille, large print, audio, or electro uh, electronic. So you can attach form 9000 to your return uh, or mail it separately. So you can download or view online tax forms and publications in a variety of formats, including text only, braille ready files, browser friendly HTML, other than tax forms, accessible PDFs and large forms. So if that's something that you, that you think would be useful for yourself or clients, then you can look into those formats in more detail. Married filing separately. If your filing status is married filing separately and your spouse itemizes deductions on their return, check the quote spouse itemizes on a separate return uh, or you were a dual status alien box. So married, when people are married, they have the choice of filing, married filing choice or, or jointly, which is usually the preferred option 